Hola, bueno, que tal? Hello, this is Aaron with Aina Computers from AinaComputers.com. Today, I'm going to go over a specific error in Internet Explorer and some possible tips to fix that problem. I filed this under Surfing the Web Fix IE Explorer EXE. Tips for fixing IE Explorer .exe problems. Some Windows users receive Internet Explorer stack hash errors similar to this example below. I have included some potential fixes to get you back surfing the Internet with Internet Explorer. And here's an example stack as you can see. Problem signature app crash. It tells you that the application name ieexplorer.exe crashed. It's got some fault information all kinds of goodly a gook or whatever you know it looks could be look like foreign language to you but it tells you the OS version 6 anyways that might be that's just one example of a possible stack error that you might receive or an application crash when you do receive those IE explorer.exe errors so you can try to reset your internet explorer settings click on start then type INETCPL.CPL into a start search box and then press enter. Or you could click on start run and type that command exactly the way it's spelled without quotations. INETCPL.CPL start run, run the program. Hopefully it'll work rather than searching. It's up to you. An Internet Options dialog box will appear, then click an Advanced tab. Also another way, well, it could be the Internet Explorer won't open. That's why you might have to run it, either start run as a command, or search for that command. So once in the Advanced tab, under a Reset Internet Explorer settings, click on Reset, then click on Reset again. So you have to click on two resets. Click on close in a reset Internet Explorer settings dialog box when Internet Explorer finishes resetting. Open up Internet Explorer again and hopefully those errors will disappear. So you might receive something similar to this on your computer, IE Explorer.exe application error. It tells you a memory, reference memory, blah, blah, blah. But anyways. And then another potential fix is to boot your computer into safe mode with networking by hitting your F8 key after BIOS screen flashes and before Windows tries to boot and then selecting safe mode with networking. So basically your computer boots up, it tries to post its BIOS. After you see your BIOS prompt, whether it's Dell, Toshiba, Asus, Acer, HP, whatever, once you see that BIOS screen flash telling you what your manufacturer is and BIOS type, quickly hit your F8 key before Windows tries to boot. And sometimes you have to hold down your F8 key or you have to just quick, you have to keep pressing the F8 key. After a BIOS screen flashes and before Windows tries to boot and then selecting safe mode with networking, once in safe mode, please download and install malware bytes to get rid of malware. It's possible you have some mal malware. Viruses, malware, spyware, crapware, whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They will cause symptoms. They will cause errors like this. So it's possible if tips before that didn't fix it that you might have some malware. Please run a scan for viruses malware and adware with that program. Also, what you could do is if you have your antivirus software installed already, you could run a virus scan with that just to make sure that you don't have viruses and that perhaps it will pick them up. So once you run your virus malware, adware, spyware scans, reboot your computer in normal mode and hopefully Internet Explorer will work again and hopefully you won't see these obnoxious errors. Another thing you could possibly do is you could also download a program similar to CCleaner or whatever your favorite file maintenance program is and run 
a file scan, clean scan, so it cleans up temp files, etc. And also run a registry scan, so it cleans up your registry. So I do get paid by, I am an affiliate of Malwarebytes, but I don't get paid. I, I'm not sponsored by them. But this was an affiliate link, just to let you know that. So I am an affiliate of Malwarebytes because I use their product and I think it's good. But you don't have to necessarily use Malwarebytes. Whatever your preferred malware, spyware, adware program is. And also, if you notice, you can obviously buy the premium now, but you don't have to. You can just download the free version. And I intentionally used that affiliate link because I was like, well, you know, at least allow people to, if you never use Malwarebytes, you, or it's a free, it's free. So you just click on the free version download, and then on my computer, it's already wanting to save the file. On Windows, you have multiple options. You could save file to your local hard drive, and then just... As you can see, it's an executable, and double-click it, run it, it'll install, and then run a scan with it. Or on Windows, you can also, a lot of times, you have a run option. You can choose the run option. It will download its files. Then, as soon as it downloads, it'll run it for you. It's up to you. So I'm going to cancel here. I just want to show you that real quick. So hopefully, these tips fix your problem where ieexplorer.exe you're getting the ieexplorer.exe error and a possible program app crash you might get a this ugly <laughs> ugly you know foreign crap or whatever or you might also see an error similar to this anyways hopefully this fix your problem you can always browse to inetcomputers.com for other potential tips to fix your most common computer problems thank you for listening